So the other day I was taking a shower and I was like thinking really hard and then I was like, wait, I don't, I don't even need to be in the shower to think. So I got out of the shower and I started thinking about how I really wanted a film cart because people who have film carts are like so cool and I would be loved and accepted in the film community. So I did what any normal person would do and I did a little research and little did I know that film carts can like cost up to like three grand. And yeah, I couldn't believe it. And even my wife was in total disbelief. And she said, do you know how many diapers we could buy with that kind of budget? So I did another thing that a normal person would do, and that's search for a DIY solution. And this guy showed up. His YouTube channel is um, Cinema K or Cinemac. I, I really don't know. He, he's a really cool dude, and he does a lot of gear reviews. And he did this video on a, a DIY cart that he made. And so I took his advice, and I did some shopping, and I came up with this. So this is a foldable scaffold or a scaffold that you can fold and it comes with these four inch caster wheels and two metal platforms and this thing has a load capacity of 500 pounds so i could i could probably i can probably get on it it's great it's almost four feet high and about two feet wide it also comes with this foldable tool shelf with a load capacity of 35 pounds so that's nice but you know I need to add a little love to this guy and make it legit. What? So you'll find this portable scaffolding at Home Depot and it's about $104. But if you sign up and make an account at Home Depot, you get a $5 off any order over 50 bucks, uh, making this baby $99. Of course, you need to pick up some wood um, to make the top shelf. So I went with the uh, half inch two by four plywood and that was about $20. So the product is called the Job Site Series 4. It's by a company called Metal Tech and they make products, you know, all things related to construction workers or something like that. Anyway, it's bright and yellow and it just, again, screams construction workers. So I decided to sand it down and paint it black. Another major modification I had to do was, you know, upgrade the wheels because these small four inch caster wheels are just like super loud when you move the cart, especially on concrete, like the whole town would look at you type of noise. So I upgraded to these eight inch all-terrain casters from Rock and Roller. These are great because they don't require uh, any air. You don't have to pump them up and they have those locking mechanisms. So. They're about $70 for a pair of two, so $140 for all four. Um, but, you know, since it already came with the bottom shelf and the foldable side tray, all I really needed to do was to just make the top shelf and, you know, I'm good to go. The side tray is perfect because that's where I'll um, put the client or director's monitor. So for the top shelf, I just measured it and added a small lip to the ends and also to the back so nothing can roll off. I then spray painted that black and then I bought two mats from Home Depot and they're about $5 each. Um, I had to cut one so that it would fit perfectly and then I just added some super glue to the bottom and then we're all set. Now with the new wheels added, it's about 50 inches high now, so it's perfect. I'm 6'2 and I'm not like bending over. For the side table, I just added this leftover, like almost like a cheese plate that has like these quarter 20 holes all over it. And so I added this Condor Blue quick release plate uh, under a ball head that I can now rotate it uh, when I need to. It can easily be detached and if the, you know, the director or the client even wants to hold it or walk away with it, he or she can do so. So overall, with all the things that I had to buy, even, you know, adding the sandpaper and the, the paintbrush that I had to buy, it came down to $291. So the goal was under 300, so I'm pretty happy. It's easy to set up as well as easy to break down. And what's crazy is that this guy on Instagram, he hit me up after I posted 
a picture of the cart and he basically did the same thing and I personally like the top shelf he made it's it's better um, and I think he picked a little bit more expensive cart that has that top bracket um, but he did a great job anyway super happy how mine's turned out I'll put the links of what I bought in the description below if I had a chance to do it again maybe I wouldn't paint it black I don't know with the top shelf being all black the whole black and yellow might look cool so anyways thanks for watching have a great one